What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to change, delete, move or handle in general the WordPress categories, okay? So before I can start, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours so you can be part of the Visual Moto family once we create videos every single day about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimization, entertainment and many more topics, okay? In order to use internet on your sites and our sites favor, okay? So let's get this started. You are new to WordPress, okay? You go to your domain.com, WP login, WP admin access your website dashboard okay and into this page into the wordpress dashboard you can see the left sidebar of menus okay and if you review let's imagine that you are for example writing a post and on your post you can see into the editor a place to apply categories okay into the right sidebar of your screen next to tag and next to the place where you publish the post you can see the place to assign categories but how to customize those categories okay this is what we're gonna learn before let's go back to the wordpress dashboard and once on dashboard find out the post type that would like to work with the categories what is a post type for example if you are using woocommerce you can see a products button right here and the products have their categories as well so products post type Every single post type of your site can be portfolio, theme, landing page, any kind of this have categories, okay? It's a taxonomy. So by default, all WordPress installations came with posts, custom post type, okay? And the categories on it. So click on it, click on categories. It's a sub page of posts. And right here we can enter to a new category by entering the name, the slug, the name, it's the name of the category, for example, SEO, Search Engine Optimization, and the slug can be the same of the name, okay? If you I, if I just create right here, it's gonna be SEO, but we can customize the slug entering with the information that you want. Just remember that the slug, it's the permalink, okay? The link that's gonna appear to load this category, okay? So, be aware of this, this is important, the URL. After this, we can change to make this category a main category or a subcategory with some parent, okay? And we can apply some description about this category, okay? We can explain what this category is about. It's important for SEO and a lot of blogs uses this, okay? After this, imagine that you already have created your category, here is our SEO. And I, will, I don't like, after some days I'm blogging, I don't like some category, for example, this one that came by default on every single WordPress installation, call it uncategorized. This uncategorized category is one of the first things we need to do on our site that is changing this. By default, this is the main category of your post, so if you create a post and do not assign any category, the post automatically go to this uncategorized category, okay? So we can click on edit and change this uncategorized name. For example, the main category of our site can be, for example, marketing. So it must change this look as well, okay? Just be aware that if you change this look, if someone access the old slug, if you have shared a link into a social media and this person have a link, the link gonna direct to a 404 page, okay? So let me change this slug, and that is, that is why exactly we recommend that this can be one of the first things we need to do on our WordPress blog. We can enter a description in the case that you want and update. Let's go back to the categories. And now the main category of our blog is marketing, okay? What else we can do? We can delete a category. For example, I don't like the SEO category anymore, so I can click on delete. And what happened with the posts assigned to this category? If the posts isn't assigned to any new category, they're gonna be moving to marketing, that is the main website category, okay? 
but the posts will not be deleted, so no need to worry, okay? We just are deleting the categories. We can do book actions, okay? In the case that we select this one and this one, go to the book action and delete. We can apply this and delete this category in a book. And we can create subcategories, for example, The SERP okay, can be a um, subcategory of marketing. And this is how, what, how it's going to look like. Okay? The subcategory of marketing, it's search engine results page. Okay? Simple, easy and effective. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Let me just make a pause right here to explain another thing okay before going out if you want to assign some posts to a category without going to the post editor all you have to do is hover your mouse over the post you want to assign category click on quick edit and assign the category right here okay update and we are good to go and it is i hope you guys enjoyed this video feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question and don't forget to check out the visual motor borders in order to gain widgets elements templates and tools to build up your site to install this plugin just go to our wordpress dashboard plugins add new search for borders click on install and activate it okay moreover if you want to use the best free wordpress theme on the planet go to our wordpress dashboard appearance themes add new search for enzo wordpress theme click on install and activate it it's all yours and for free moreover if you prefer to go premium just go to visualmoto.com purchase the visual motor pass in order to unlock our full library of pre-built websites that you can import with a single click premium icon premium design assets or full support and many more amazing features all in a great price okay and it is i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i see you tomorrow all the best